Today, I'm going to talk about how to deal with criticism. Hey, Karina here with Synchronize Within. My intention for this video is not to give you a how-to approach, but rather create a shift in perception from within. The reason why I'm making this video today is because when I first started out doing my business, I can't even tell you how much feedback and criticism I got from people that I knew. Granted, they were all trying to help me and all trying to make sure that I was doing the right thing, but to be honest, it really wasn't helping me and it just made me feel like they didn't support me. For a while, they were the only ones that I was able to share my ideas with. When they came back with all these questions, all these things I haven't yet thought of by myself, all I wanted to do was shut down because it just put me into overwhelm mode. And I'm sure you know this too if you're a highly sensitive person. When someone criticizes you, they're telling you exactly how they talk to themselves. How someone communicates with you and treats you is a direct reflection of how they treat themselves and talk to themselves. So if there's a family member or a boss that you really don't like the way they talk to you because they often criticize you, just remember that if they're doing this to you, they probably do it to themselves way more. When someone criticizes you, it is likely that they're making a judgment based on a very little bit of information. To them, what they might be seeing or hearing from you right now is all there is. When really, they're just looking through a small peephole of life. So if it bothers you that other people do this, be aware of when you do this also. When do you make judgments or criticisms based on a very little bit of information? If someone is criticizing a new idea or project that you're trying to get off the ground, think of their criticism as a way of them trying to understand you. They're trying to understand what exactly it is that you're doing. Maybe be grateful that they're asking you the questions that you haven't yet thought of yourself. Use their questions so that you can expand your awareness and so that you can see your new project or idea in a bigger way. And as a bonus, Brene Brown taught me that if someone isn't putting themselves on the line in the same way that I am, then there's absolutely no reason why I need to take their feedback. And the same goes for you. Value bravery more than perfection in expressing your new ideas. If you're here to make this world a better place, then freaking kudos to you for using your imagination to think outside the box. This is what the world needs right now. You have a purpose in the world, and we want to see it. What are you here to share with the world? How are you here to make this world a better place? What are you doing to be the change that you wish to see? So screw that criticism and come on, let's get some support. Find your people. Find the people who are going to hold that vision for you and remind you of your greatness when you have forgotten it. Leave a comment below. Which of these tips are most helpful for you? And if this video helped, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Then come on over to synchronizewithin.com and receive my gift to you a podcast audio on how to create your vision and thrive as a highly sensitive person. You'll also receive my new videos and podcasts right to your inbox and learn more about an online community for highly sensitive people, all who are here to be the change that they wish to see. Because remember, it all starts with you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.